Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Photoshop. Today we're going to look at how to do spot or selective colour. This is where we have some of the image in black and white and some in colour and it can be very effective when used correctly. So to do this you'll first need to make sure you have the layers palette open. You can see I've got it open down here with a smaller image uh, of the background layer here. Now if you haven't got this open you can literally just go to window and make sure you've got layer selected here or just press F7 and this palette will appear here. Okay, once you've got this open, the next step is to left click on the background and drag it down whilst holding the left button down to this icon here which looks like a sheet of paper with the corner folded over. Once the little hand appears, let go and you'll see now you've got a duplicate of the background layer. So the next step will be to turn this black and white now if you remember from one of the previous tutorials, we can do this in several ways. But today we're going to go Image, Adjustments. We could reduce the saturation, but today I'm just going to choose the black and white. There we go. Now it's in black and white. We can play around with these red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta values to get a different effect in the black and white. Uh, it can also be nice to have a play with that. When you're happy, just click OK. Now the next little step is to make this easy to edit we're going to put a layer mask on. Now you could simply use the eraser tool and cut through the top layer to reveal the colour but the downside of that is if you make a mistake it's not easy to correct or not as easy to correct. So we're going to add a layer mask which we can simply do we make sure we've got the top copy selected, the black and white one then we click on this little box with a little hole in the middle to add a layer mask as you can see, this white little sheet appears here, and there's no change with our image. That's to be expected. So the next step is to select the brush tool. Make sure we've got black and white in our color palette here, with black on the top. And then we can simply left click over the image and hold down. And as you can see, we're erasing through the top black and white layer to reveal the color beneath. Now if you make a few mistakes here, don't worry, because the beauty of using a layer mask is you can very easily undo mistakes. So I'm just going to do a rough selection here. Got most of it. Let's go over those edges a bit. There we go. Now as you can see, this isn't 100% accurate. I've got some green around the edge. Now this is where the beauty of the layer mask comes in. If I click on these little arrow buttons just above the color palette, it goes to white and now if I make a smaller brush I can more carefully go around the edges and as you'll notice the green areas disappear. Now this is a really easy way of doing spot colour and the beauty of it is if I make a mistake again I can simply switch back to the black colour again for the brush and I can cover things over again. So you don't have to worry about making little mistakes, which, which you will, because they're so, so easy to correct. And just with literally a couple of minutes, I've got this looking quite nice. Now, obviously, if I was doing this for real, I would spend a little bit more time making this absolutely perfect. But, to be fair, this is pretty close with just a couple of minutes' work. And for most people, this would be perfectly acceptable result. There you have it. Spot colour in literally just a few minutes. Now, if you want to make this colour here bright and more punchy, you can do one last little trick. And if you click on the bottom layer, the colour layer, one more time, I can now adjust the curves. Now, to do that, I can either go Image, Adjustments, and find the curves. Or you can use a shortcut, Control and M. That brings up this box. Now, what I want to do here is just drag the top up by left clicking and holding and then left click and hold near the bottom and look at that colour now, really saturated. Click OK when you're happy and we're done. Now the final step, if you want to save this you need to flatten the image so you can save it to JPEG. You can do that in a couple of different ways. We can go to the layer palette here and click, then just click on flatten image or you can click on Merge Visible, which is Shift, Control, and E pressed at the same time. 
I'm just going to click on flatten image and now it's back to one image and I can go in the normal way file save as and select a JPEG or a TIFF depending on how I want to save it. Well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you have a lot of fun making some spot colour images. See you next time. Bye for now.